Okay, we're back. Apparently, oh. we we always have these technical difficulties. I'm not quite sure why, but I'm going to blame it on me. <laughs> so, okay, so you were telling us that you were looking for vendors yeah. and looking, yeah. And, it, and it's a really daunting task, as anyone who's getting married knows, and I just thought it was too daunting. So, um, you know, I had this idea that it should be easier, that there should be some source that was really reliable and really wonderful where you could get all these resources. Mm -hmm. And so five years later, so five years after I got married, um, I decided to start the wedding library. And what it was back then was a resource for brides where we had all different vendors being part of our library and we would recommend brides to those vendors according to, uh, to, the, to the brides needs. So their price point, their aesthetic, their um, personality and we really made some great fits and over the years we began planning weddings and you're going to see we do a lot of things here at the wedding library now and that was sort of the seed and the germination of how the, the company started and of course we started planning weddings pretty soon after uh, I founded the right. library and then we started bringing in retail product and um, you know some of the things stuck and we grew them and grew the businesses so now we do a lot of things um, and happy to tell you about them today. Great well we're excited to hear about it and uh, hopefully our technical difficulties will be done. Technology. So if we if we get cut off we're coming back. Yeah we're so coming back. Worry. We will come back. <laughs> so okay so um so tell us about some of the services that you provide. Right well so first and foremost we are wedding planners and we plan about uh, a dozen luxury weddings a year. So we plan them all over the world. Um, we love designing weddings, so we'll do full planning, um, which is really the um, technical part of planning, making sure every I is dotted and T is crossed and making sure your wedding goes smoothly, um, as well as doing the design of the wedding. So we're gonna share some of that today of how we go about um, providing our clients with really the best best in class design mm -hmm. um, of weddings and so that's one piece of the business um, we're standing here in our bridesmaids salon so we have a bridesmaids manager and team that runs this mm -hmm. and we are the flagship for um, Amsala and have the full collection of about 10 different designers so mm -hmm. it's a really robust business uh, we love it and it gives us a little insight into what bridesmaids and the rest of the bridal party is doing as well. Yeah, um, it's beautiful in here. I mean, thank you. you could really get lost in all these dresses. There are a lot. Yeah. And when you think of all the permutations that you can do mm -hmm. in a bridal party, it becomes uh, in the thousands. Um, and mm -hmm. so there's a lot of expertise in selling these dresses. Right. Um, we have a boutique stationery business where, again, most of what we do is custom and we work really closely with our clients um, to create usually really beautiful full suites um, of everything from the save the date to the place cards and the thank you notes so from beginning to end and I'll share a little bit with uh, mm -hmm. with you today of that um, and we'll talk later about the wedding party but we do host a bridal show so it is like I think of it as a, a mini wedding library of days old in one day so it's all these wonderful vendors that we bring under one roof we just had it in New York City at Gotham Hall on January uh, in January we do it every right. year at the end of the month and it coming up really soon on March 5th we're doing the show in Chicago with right. Darcy Miller from Martha Stewart Weddings who's going to be our keynote speaker and we bring in a bunch of um, amazing vendors about 50 to 60 of them in Chicago and five or six hundred brides come to partake in the show yeah last year I um, it was the day after the big storm yeah. and I was so impressed how many couples I mean they were determined to get there and they made it <laughs> brides are really determined and right. we were really determined to give them a good show right yeah. right and it was, no it was amazing this year. yeah yeah that, yeah crossed. I was thinking about that so okay so um and just out of curiosity I mean you have so much going on you have the dresses you have the the invitations and all the branding and you're going to talk about that later but how many people do you really have working here it's not oh, just you 10,000 <laughs> we have about seven girls so mm -hmm. we have a team we have two core team um, of bridesmaid sales uh, women and uh, they they are really supported by part-timers um, by interns at, any given moment, we have about five interns oh, uh, working interns. with us. I know, and, <laughs> yeah. um, and they really support the bridesmaids department. Um, we have Rebecca in uh, wedding planning, so she is my uh, partner in crime on that. And so every planning client gets to know her really well, mm -hmm. and she'll um, plan some weddings as well, um, uh, either with me or without me. And um, we have a graphic artist who we work with exclusively. Um, for our stationery, and of course, we carry about 
50 to 60 uh, different stationary books as well. So we can order out of books or through our graphic mm -hmm. artist. And we have a partner in Chicago for the wedding party. So it's another planner who helps to produce the show sure. there. So we do have a big team. Yeah, it's a big team. And so um, Matthew, who's written in, is saying, do you have any men on your team, or is it all, <laughs> is it all women driven? Um, we, we've been lucky enough to have one amazing uh, male uh, employee <laughs> yeah. in the 17 years we've been in business. Right. So it has been very women centric, but we, right. we welcome anybody. Uh, we welcome everybody. Yeah, Matthew, indeed. <laughs> send in your application. <laughs> <laughs> so, and how many events do you take on at one time? About a dozen uh -huh. um, over the course of a year, so or a dozen that are on our dockets at any at any uh -huh. given moment. So really, it's about one a month is what how we'd love to, it, for it to shake sure. out. It doesn't always really shake out that way, but right because um, there's so much detail. Exactly. Yeah. That, exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. And when you um, w so, I guess you you're you don't only have to have your event planned here, but you can come into the in and take a look at the dresses and all of that, even if you're not the planner. Absolutely. Yes. So our bridesmaid department is really very robust. We have, take about 75 appointments a week here. Oh my goodness. So, yeah. so we really, um, those are appointments every hour on the hour, um, often double booked. So it is a really busy department. And right. obviously we're not planning all those weddings. So we definitely sure. welcome um, girls from, from anywhere to come in for those services as well as stationary. Oh, and great. of course the wedding party had about 1,300 brides um, this year in New York. So we're touching a lot of weddings even though we're only planning a very Absolutely. small handful. Okay, great. So why don't we talk about, because we're in this beautiful salon with the dresses, why don't you tell us a little bit about some of your dresses and um, give us some information on that. Well, we, like I said, we are the flagship for Amsala in New York and they're just down the block from us. So they're definitely a favorite line of ours. And we have about I love 10, Amsala. yeah, we have about 10 different lines. It is a mm -hmm. bestseller for us as well. Mm -hmm. And um, they're all coming out. We're having trunk shows every week this month and um, we have trunk shows throughout the year. And so the designers really have, have, I think, honed their art. We've been carrying these lines for a very, very long time and continue to add different um, lines to our collection but um, we're seeing a lot of beading so um, you know this has been a trend now for a couple of years Adriana Papel came out with these or has always had for ready to wear these amazing beaded mm -hmm. gowns and they've really um, catered their their um, their line to bridesmaids now mm -hmm. so you know having simpler color palettes and choices so that brides really can um, can adapt those for their their own um, weddings mm -hmm. um, the flat satins are really popular crinkle chiffon has been is an Amsala favorite and we pulled these dresses because we wanted to talk a little bit about a trend. So we've seen in the last few years these, um, well, blush being, you know, an absolute favorite color oh, yeah. always. We, we get um, a lot of blush. <laughs> yes, a lot of blush um, in our world as well. And, you know, in New York we do have a more formal bride. So most of our girls um, are getting longer gowns mm -hmm. um, in the city. And um, uh -huh. beading has been this incredible um, uh, popular trend mm -hmm. ombre so girls go using different shades of the same color um, and we wanted to show something that we're and and the same sometimes also the same designer with different um, necklines and different bodices right. so we have a little bit of all of that here but what we wanted to show is that brides are really kind of stepping out of the box obviously for the last at least five years girls have been buying ready to wear so you know we mm -hmm. obviously we see that and I think all of our designers have um, taken that to heart sure and have found something that sort of works for bridesmaids really well where you can really individualize what every girl wears um, but keep it in sort of a color family um, a color story a you know, different fabrics. Right, it does, everyone doesn't been, have to be the same. Exactly. Right. But I don't think anyone would mistake if, you know, you had a bridal party looking like this, that these were your bridesmaids. Sure. Um, and so that has been a really big trend for us. Um, you know, not necessarily ombre, but um, just literally a mixture of shades of the same, in the same right. colorway. So the hues, the hues are the same. The hues yeah. are the same, absolutely. Yeah. And that's, you know, a huge trend for us. Obviously, always this different, um, different uh, neckline, different bodices on the same um, right. body of the dress. But really, the rules have have loosened quite a bit for bridesmaid right. dresses. What's There's beautiful about them. these dresses too is, you know, everybody used to say like, oh, they bought that dress and then never wore it again. You could really wear these anywhere. Yes. They're beautiful. Yes, the beaded ones. I mean, obviously, you yeah. see those a lot. And when we're 
um, planning a wedding, we often see girls who have purchased these dresses, okay. maybe even from us, um, wearing them as guests and not part of the someone party. else's wedding, right? Exactly. So, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. 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 So, so that so that that's really a trend for 2017. These are sort of the popular colors and hues, yep. and it doesn't have to be matchy matchy if you yeah. will. We yeah. see a lot of white though too. I will yeah. say that's been a really popular. Uh -huh. um, uh, and cream and ecru, so all in those sort of a bone, like right. all in those really kind of neutral colors uh -huh. has been really popular. And I guess, I think that's also a little bit of brides of today kind of throwing the rule book out the window sure. a little bit, where it's, um, at, where it's not, you know, frowned upon for exactly. bridesmaids or anyone to wear white to a wedding, but really um, becomes this really beautiful palette. And, you know, the bride's wearing, obviously, an incredible gown right. and her girls behind her. Right, it's, all it's easy to tell who she is. Yeah, there's, <laughs> no, there's never an issue with that. Right. But, um, but it does look really beautiful to have right. all the girls right. together in the same color. Okay, great. So um, the, these are the dresses. Now, do you want to move into the yeah. invitation? Sure, let's go look in yeah, there. Let's go right so in and we'll give a little tour of the wedding library right. at the same time. So, you know, our dresses have expanded out into the hallway at this point. Yeah, um, we even so have children's dresses. Yeah, we have flower girl dresses. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, we love the flower girls. That's always a really fun visit when they come into the wedding library and visit us. Um, and uh, yeah, I'd love to show you our stationery department. It is cozy here. <laughs> right, yeah. Okay, great. So tell us a little bit about some of the stuff you have out for us. So I pulled out um, two weddings that we have that we planned and designed, mm -hmm. um, and I thought it would be kind of fun to look at just the the breadth and depth of the kind of stationery that we do and the kind of things that our clients ask us to do for them. Um, we could start um, with this wedding over here okay. um, where it was actually at Blue Hill Stone Barns mm -hmm. and um, a favorite, favorite venue of ours. Yeah, beautiful. And, I love um, the... I love the um, the chicken and the rabbit and yeah that's absolutely gorgeous. yeah so our graphic artist um, was given the task of sort of pulling this together for us and we knew um, that Stone Barnes actually does the menu for the client and mm -hmm. it's really beautiful and there's really no reason to reinvent the wheel and so we started with knowing that this is what they were going to have for their for their menu card so that actually came from the venue mm -hmm. and as you can see they have a really sweet little cow on cow, the top there yeah. so the, the, the bride and groom loved it and wanted to kind of extrapolate from there and so we of course were really happy to oblige and um, we pulled together all different animal motifs and farm motifs if you know Blue Hills uh, is it's this incredible farm um, about an hour north of New York City mm -hmm. and um, you know a beautiful farm to table um, cuisine and an incredible farm setting right. so you know we, we wanted to really pull in all the elements of that for their tabletop and for their wedding so really everything from the items that we put inside their gift bags um, for guests who are staying at the hotel so you see here little walnuts that were um, in little mm -hmm. jars and um, every motif was used sort of throughout the different pieces of their wedding suite. Their invitation um, was a handkerchief, so you see it's oh still God, folded up here, amazing. but kind of amazing. And um, and then some of the tabletop items, we can look at the, the table oh numbers God. here. So this was sort of going again with the menu card sure. um, that was created for them, and then the place cards. And as you can see, the different place cards all have different motifs on it. And yeah. so we really love um, with the digital printing that we did here, um, the new technology that we can um, avail ourselves of allows you to have a different motif on every card. That's amazing. So it's not like the old days where you have to order a hundred right. chickens or whatever the motif right, is. You right. can you can mix it up a bit. What's great about um, it too is it's you know it's farm but it's elegant. And you know that it's just not sort of like down like you're at a hoedown. You know? Exactly, it was yeah. really really chic, and we did um, again even down to the welcome notes, um, where the the envelopes to the welcome notes were different. So depending on the guest, they were receiving a different note, and um, and then the welcome note was personalized. And again, there were all different uh, motifs for every every guest, which we just loved being yeah, able to personalize it to that amazing. extent and even down to the program we pulled in um, the different colors and the motif of the venue yeah. so this was a really special suite and we loved doing it and um, do you want to talk about another one or sure, want to move let's on talk about okay one. so this was an amazing Palm Beach wedding we did 
a few years ago. Sort of like a con contrast to yeah, a barn. Exactly. Barn. Actually, yeah, exactly. Actually, yes, this was at the <laughs> Frick, so this amazing, um, and here's a postcard of it from, uh, I think probably about the 1950s, but um, a turn of the century mm -hmm. um, mansion down in Palm Beach and a really um, incredible blowout formal wedding um, with lots of events mm -hmm. over um, four days. So I'm only showing you actually two, the wedding day and, and a little bit of the rehearsal dinner, but there was, oh, and the save the date, but there was plenty of papery that we touched on for mm -hmm. this event. So. Um, well, we start with the rehearsal dinner. Um, it was at the Leopard Lounge at a cute little hotel down there, and we really wanted to do something different since the groom's family was hosting it. Mm -hmm. And the bride loved this um, this leafy pattern. And so we made everything from the, um, from the place cards to the menu cards, oops, um, mm -hmm. to the invitation yeah. um, printed with this great leaf pattern. This is the reverse of the invitation itself. Oh. And then for the actual place card, since it was all about animals, we had these little incredible oh little magnets. I'm going to show you how these work. You just pull it apart because it's a little magnet. So here's a little elephant. So everybody got a different animal holding up their mm -hmm. place card on the table. So that was super, super cute and kind of fun. Amanda and, says this is lovely. She, said, she oh. just sent in a message. Yay, Amanda. Yeah, Amanda. <laughs> um, so anyway, so that was a really, really fun night. Now we're moving on to the, the wedding day itself. Mm -hmm. um, we had a clever say the date. The bride actually had found this incredible postcard, vintage postcard. And so we had it printed um, with the save the date information. And we didn't really want to send it out just as a postcard. So we put it in a chic vellum envelope oh. and, and wrapped it with um, uh, the address label. That's so here, amazing. this is how it yeah. came, pre yeah. you know, before it was printed. And then yeah. we had it printed with the addresses of the, of the guests. So really special. Um, moving on to maybe gift bag items, we um, oh, this is a little upside down. we commissioned um, an artist to do a watercolor of Palm Beach and put in all the different places that oh, they cool. were holding events that weekend. Wow. And yeah, amazing. And what I really loved was that the mother, of the bride, was an artist, and even though she didn't do the artwork. The bride insisted, and I concurred, that mm -hmm. she do the illustration of their little cute dog. Right. So we snuck that in there, that and nice. and as you can see, the artist that was hired um, did all these other motifs that were used mm. throughout and really hung together. It just makes with it, it so personal. It was amazing. Yeah. We really we did personalize this wedding to a really great degree. For her invitation itself, it was super classic, letterpress, really beautiful, um, all hand calligraphy, and um, and then obviously printed. We edged it in this beautiful um, sort of Kona brown, and all the pieces were done um, by hand originally. So love that suite. Yeah, but that was, you know, amazing. she was a traditional girl, and she really wanted it all to be really traditional, but doesn't mean everything else has to be. Sure. So, for example, um, let me, I don't know where to go now. Um, go. We did mm -hmm. all these um, line drawings of all the different places that were important to her. Um, this is the Flagler itself, this is the gates of the Flagler, this is the pavilion that is one of the buildings on the property. So even our cocktail napkins had all those motifs. Mm -hmm. We used them over and over again. So here was a menu card for the, for the dinner, for the wedding, and you can see the gates behind the word menu. Right. For the program, of course, we did an illustration of the church, um, which is Royal Ponciana, right on the same property. And we added this really beautiful velvet ribbon and we used the same color in grow grain and velvet throughout mm. the whole wedding process. Those details um, just make such yep. a difference, yeah. For, um, for the in-room bags that went along with this beautiful map and the letter, we did, of course, an itinerary of all the different events. So again, using, um, this is the Leopard Lounge at Chesterfield Hotel, the church, the different places that the reception was, Another illustration of the puppy dog, Sophie, right. that by the mom, um, by the bride's mother. And um, that was also carried out through the colorway, was carried out through the, through the table numbers, mm -hmm. the menu card, uh, yeah. you know, menu card okay. and all the right. other pieces. Mm -hmm. And you know, then we had some fun with like late night items. So, sure. but of course, they had to be personalized as well. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, that's an example of just the extent that we sure. go through to create like the most special, personalized, personalized, yeah. branded wedding. Right. And that's I think when people get worried and say, "I don't want a theme wedding." Right. It's not really about it being a theme. It's about it really being 
personalized and about you right. and you know having the bride's mom do a little illustration for us like that just made it so special and I know that the bride loved it so it's those sort of things that we love to incorporate right. when we're planning and it makes it fun for us when we're when we are doing the planning and design that we also have all these resources and all this sort of depth of expertise from 17 years of selling stationery sure. and um, planning weddings that we can draw on that. Well when you said branded I was thinking oh I don't really understand that right. but now I understand what it means yeah. so yeah um, so I'm gonna ask you a crazy question because now we just saw two we just saw some crazy stuff. crazy stuff so what are some of the most exciting glamorous places that you've been where you've planned weddings well we private homes often are the most glamorous because they feel like um, the, well they are the least accessible they're yeah. you know somebody's property so really there's only gonna usually be one wedding there um, right. in a lifetime so I think private homes are, are one of the more amazing um, amazing places Home we don't. Vibes, right? <laughs> yeah <laughs> and um, you know putting up a tent at a beautiful house is just amazing um, any mansions I love the Frick we just talked about that right. before um, Newport we did an amazing event this summer um, in one of the mansions there mm -hmm. and I just feel like it brings you back to a time when events were really glamorous mm -hmm. and um, chic and sophisticated and we love being able to sort of bring that back um, we do a lot of wet events and weddings in Palm Beach um, that I mentioned before mm -hmm. and really all over the country and all over the world but those are some of my favorite yeah I wish I could get invited to some of these <laughs> to get come on we're <laughs> friends okay so and um you've you've planned weddings for many influential people famous couples yep. any that you want to mention or you kind of keep that private and don't say so, that well we don't really talk about that too much but I will say that we yeah we've done uh, we we've worked with a lot of the sort of um, sci oh that's right saved by the bell um, <laughs> hey, <it's live. laughs> the, the scions of industry in mm -hmm. New York we work for, with a lot of real estate families um, and we've done uh, lots of on-air television um, folks as well as um, actors and we get to travel with them mm -hmm. I will say that their weddings which I think is really interesting tend to be um, you know as you would expect really lavish and really beautiful but they always come off as understated when they work with us and I think that's sort of an interesting combination of things like this wedding where every detail is looked after and every little um, thing is taken care of and yet um, it doesn't it appears really effortless right and hopefully it is for the right for nobody's the couple. like oh that was so over the top you know yeah. they it's they know it's beautiful and elegant they but walk away it doesn't seem right that feeling was, like they've had this amazing experience right, right. so so and so now you've shown us all these details are so much to put together is it possible to pull a wedding together in just a few months and hire these vendors at last minute I am of the, the mind that you can do anything in in a short amount of time and I actually love it when a bride comes to me with like I'd like to get married in six months or four months um, you know there are a few things that you really have to be worried about one is your venue and having one but okay. there's a, always a venue available and you know you may have to give or take a little bit on mm -hmm. um, you know your dream venue but you will find something I guarantee you and it'll be wonderful um, mm -hmm. there's loads of play venues that have cancellations three or four months out from the wedding and you can even get a great deal that way mm -hmm. so that's one thing you have to be concerned with obviously your dress is another one um, it, it's a little bit of concern for bridesmaids if you have that but more of a concern of course for the bride there's so many amazing boutiques now though that um, that offer uh, off-the-rack white yeah. gowns of you know every type and certainly some of the places that sell destination wedding gowns will be able to accommodate you with short notice so that's another and I was thinking that some of the dresses that you have absolutely. even though they're bridesmaids they could really be wedding dresses absolutely yeah. they all come in white and cream mm -hmm. um, and what else to, and, and getting your vendors of course is sure. a big concern but I think obviously if you hire a planner they're gonna help you find those vendors right. and with short notice but I mean you know um, we've planned the most lavish wedding in six weeks um, that was a four days long and wow. just over the top and crazy and we really did everything the the one piece again that that takes some time is your invitation so obviously there's some solutions out there now like you can send out um, a digital email um, as a save the date or something like that sure. um, and we have this uh, almost everything 
on this table, for example, is digitally mm -hmm. printed. So um, what that means is a much quicker turnaround, mm -hmm. um, about 10 days. So, you know, you do want to give If there's a will, there's a way. If there's a will, there's a way, <laughs> and you do want to give your guests a little bit right. of notice, but it can be done. And, um, you know, by, by using some of these techniques and having somebody like a graphic artist who pulls all that together for you, um, it still can feel really personalized and really special, even though it's right. been and a And I think that's tournament. the benefit of ha working with someone like yourself who, you know, has relationships with people and can sort of pull those favors if you're doing it last minute or you need something on the fly. Absolutely. You know, you have those people and those relationships, so. Yeah, and there's mm -hmm. just so much out there these days that, you know, really, there's nothing that you can't find. Um, right. Even at the last minute. Right. So. so, and you know, here's another question. Um, budgeting, so, you know, these are some pretty elaborate and, you know, uh, amazing things. Uh, tell us about some budgeting ideas or budgeting information. You know, how, what, how do people budget for their wedding? Well, I tell every client that, that everyone has a budget. Right. I can do the largest wedding or the smallest wedding in a backyard. Everybody has a budget. There's there's a point where I've never had a client who hasn't cried uncle at <laughs> something. Right. Um, so, you know, there's no shame in having a budget, it, but there is a problem if you don't address it. So we love to look at a budget right when we bring a client on and have an understanding of what they think their budget is, right. what, you know, if they don't know 100%, and really going through what their expectations are so that we can put, and this is how we do it um, in a very first kickoff meeting, is sort of a low estimate, a high estimate, and what we think they're going to end up spending based on what they're telling us. Mm -hmm. So if you tell me that you've always dreamed of a 10-foot cake that's covered in sugared flowers and, you know, right. super elaborate, you know how much I'm to allocate tell you for that, that, right? Yeah, that there, is, that there is a cost to that. And so, um, you know, with that, we add it all up at the end of the day, each mm -hmm. column, the low, the high, and the expected, and you know, and then comes again, almost always, sort of that moment of truth where we're like, okay, well, we can't do all of this mm -hmm. on the high level. Sure. Um, so, what is it that's most important to us? And that's really um, a tool if you are hiring a planner that you can a gift that you can give your planner is for you to understand and for you to help your planner understand what's important to you. Right. So, if your cake is the most important thing. Fantastic. Right. We'll allocate a lot of budget to that. If it's the music, same thing. If it's the food, if it's the stationery, um, then we know how to manage those expectations. And um, if you're doing it on your own, I think it is really important to look at some of those items that kind of accumulate as you go along. So for example, music. You're, you may look and hire a band and it may fit in your budget, but don't forget, you also need cocktail music, you also need ceremony music. Um, and may, you know, you're going to be giving your band members gratuities hopefully at the end of the night. Right. So really look at it holistically. Maybe you're paying them travel. So, you know, as a planner, we look at the whole budget for an item. Um, obviously, stationery. We've talked about this extensively. Um, you know, we really caution our clients not to like spend it all on their save the date because then we don't have enough of the allocated budget for all these other right. beautiful things that they almost always want to do when we show it to them. So um, it is really about looking at it holistically too and not you know, sort of turning a blind eye or, or making believe that you right. don't need don't. to account for budget for a rain plan, for sure. example. You, you know, that has to be part of your realistic full budget. Right, I think like, like you said, being realistic is so important yeah. because a lot of times people don't think about the budget as really the starting point for everybody. Yes, and yeah. it and it does really affect. You know, if you're not being 100% um, honest with your planner, I mean, maybe you you want to give some leeway with your florist so that you can add in more budget later. But your planner is really going to gear everything to what you tell them. So if you say you have you know a certain budget for flowers, we're going to work with a, again with a florist who sort of is fits in that cat the financial category right. who is willing to work with you. And who can do amazing things, but at that price point. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so if then you're like, oh, I actually have twice that amount, maybe we wouldn't help have led Gone you to that, that for way. us, and maybe yeah. we would have um, thought bigger, meaning right. we would have you know, spent more on the big structures, because that is really important in planning a wedding, sure. too, 
from the design perspective is you look at the big gestures first and then you fill in with the with the details so that you are creating you know the impact that you want for your wedding right okay great so and you can see that back here there are some other really fun um, you know we saw these digital suites yeah yeah, so we, 